Hey everybody, Doug Reynolds here, your Sacramento area realtor. And here we are in the middle of coronavirus lockdown. And this is some videos I'm doing, just talking about real estate observations during COVID-19 going on in the Sacramento real estate. This is the second video. Uh, check out the first video if you want. So that's me, I'm Doug Reynolds. Been selling real estate for 14 years now. You can go ahead and check out my website. My YouTube channel's got a couple hundred videos on there for buyers and sellers, great information about the Sacramento market and everything. So, all right, real estate observations during COVID-19. Hopefully not so random thoughts from a realtor's mind. So here's some things I've been thinking about lately. Stats will take time to show reality. What happens with statistics for real estate and Sacramento real estate is when we get the stats, say for example, last month's stats, it's showing what the market was doing one and two and three months before that because it takes time before those properties close escrow and then they show us what things were going on. So it's gonna take a month, two, three months before the stats actually show what's happening currently in our market right now. Okay, sellers in rent back limbo. What does this mean? Well, during February and the beginning of March, the market was crazy hot. I mean, we're talking multiple offers, buyers competing like crazy. And so one thing that buyers were doing was telling sellers, hey, seller, go ahead. You can rent back and stay in the property for free for a few weeks, no problem. Well, I personally have two escrows that closed right before all of the coronavirus went down. And so those properties close escrow, but the sellers are still in the houses. And I've got one where my sellers are in the property still. The buyer's agents text me, hey, uh, is everything going okay? You got your sellers going to be able to move out in time? Just want to make sure. And I've also got one with a buyer. We closed escrow and my buyer allowed the seller to stay in. And so once again, we're just hoping and making sure that that seller is going to move out in the time that they said because other buyer already owns that property so some interesting interesting stuff going on in real estate there vacant homes investor flips there's some properties that just are gonna stay on the market they're gonna be on the market there's some people that got vacant houses and they're saying hey what do i care if someone walks through the property i'm not living there anymore it's empty go right ahead or investors are saying man i bought this mark i bought this house the market was crazy hot i was expecting something different and I'm going to put the house on the market now because I finished. I don't want my holding costs to be going up any higher. Open houses. It was interesting. I'm shooting this on the 23rd of March. I had a buyer that went to an open house that someone was holding open on the 21st. I was told they left all the doors open, all the lights were on, so no one really touched anything. They just kind of walked through the house and checked it out. But I think as we go through the next few weeks, we're going to start to see open houses taper off and not really have a whole lot of them going on. However, there's going to be some more virtual open houses going on where people are doing a kind of a YouTube live or Facebook live and they're walking through the house kind of showing people that they can see it for themselves. And then pin up demand at the end. Well, the end of this is gonna happen at some point in time. We're gonna go back to some sort of normalcy. So the question is, do we have a bunch of sellers that are waiting? Do we have a bunch of buyers that are waiting? And all of a sudden there's gonna be this demand for buying houses, this demand for putting houses on the market. That's kind of an interesting equation. And then spring market in the summer, fall. Usually in the spring, we have a really solid market where it's a lot of buyer competition, it's low inventory, and it's really competitive. So kind of my gut feeling, I'm not really making a prediction, but if this only lasts a couple of weeks, I think we'll probably have a similar quote unquote spring market in the summer and fall. But if this drags on for months and we have a lot larger economic impact on it, then only time will tell what's gonna happen there. Okay, some interesting data from the MLS. These are single family homes, Sacramento County and West Sacramento. The reason I use that area is because that's what the Sacramento Association of Realtors uses. So I wanna to try to replicate kind of their data there. So new listings in the last 24 hours, 31 new homes came on the market. So there's new houses coming on, even in the midst of all of this. 46 pendings in the last 24 hours. So properties went into escrow in the last 24 hours. Properties closed, 33 sold homes closed 
change to closed status in the MLS. So we've got new stuff coming on. We've got things going into escrow. We got things closing. And then the inactives, those are people that are sellers that are saying, hey, I'm going to put this property on hold or I'm going to cancel this listing. Obviously, people are pulling stuff off as well, too. So we've got a really mixed bag of stuff going on. New pendings, closings, pulling back, all kinds of different stuff. Really, really interesting time. That's why I'm doing these videos. It's really fascinating. I'm tracking and watching all of it. Uh, Riz Media came out with an article today. Before pandemic, existing home sales soared. What will happen now? This is basically what I've been talking about. You know, uh, the market was going hot. Prices were going up. Multiple offers, comp competition, low inventory. That was all happening. And we're going to see that show up in the stats for the next month or two before we start seeing what's going on now showing up. So what will happen? Only time will tell. Some interesting podcasts. I love listening to podcasts when I'm out running or on a bike ride or something. And so Dave Ramsey, I'm a huge Dave Ramsey fan. He's got some really good stuff. If you're just nervous or curious about your financials or your retirement, things like that, he's a very sound mind as far as what's going on. He's got a great saying, the, the only people that get hurt on a roller coaster are the ones that jump off. And so he's you know, going to give advice, ride this out. It's gonna, We're going to get through it. Uh, the Indicator, that's a good one. I'm not really a big NPR fan, but that one's kind of a short little 10-minute daily podcast. A lot of good stuff on coronavirus recently, the last two weeks there. You might want to check that out. Brian Buffini Show, great stuff there for mindset, motivation, methodologies of business, of life, all kinds of different things. Great stuff at this time. Same with Robin Sharma. He's similar with a lot of mindset, motivation, methodology type stuff for leaders really good stuff that can be filling our minds at this time when we're all kind of anxious, we're all kind of nervous, we're all kind of on edge. Those are some good podcasts. And then for the kids, if you've got some kids and you want to limit their screen time right now, but have some stuff planned for them to listen to in the house, uh, The Punies. This was actually a podcast series that was done by the late Kobe Bryant. And it's funny, it's entertaining, it's for kids, it's kind of Got some, some cool characters and stuff like that. So just something I wanted to throw out there that you could put on for your kids to be listening to as well. And then I want to leave you with this. Let your smile change the world, but don't let the world change your smile. Just a reminder, let's just keep smiling. Let's take this one day at a time. We're going to get through this, but uh, let's just not let the impact of all this just weigh heavy on, on affecting us where um, we're, we're forgetting to smile, you know? Make sure you listen to some funny things, watch some funny movie, things like that. So thanks for listening, I hope you like this. Feel free to give it a thumbs up or a comment if you got any questions. Definitely subscribe if you wanna get more of my YouTube videos. You can send me an email, text, call, whatever. Reach out to me if you got any questions on real estate and I'll keep doing these updates. It's just a really fascinating time going on in real estate right now, so I look forward to Connecting with you soon and clear skies.